Hello you all, my all beautiful Scorpio. Uh, this whole video is going to be dedicated to our week, November 30th to December 6th, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested into a personal reading with me or you want to start learning tarot and uh, you want me to be your guide into this, uh, you can go to my website, which link you're gonna find into the description down below. And uh, there you're gonna find information and way to purchase all of the services I'm providing. So with that being said, let's jump into the uh, weekly reading straight away. So excited guys, you can't even believe it. So crossing fingers. First one we got, topic of the week itself, and we do have, that's a very nice start, the Four of Wands. Okay, so we do have the Four of Wands. Energy which is supporting and feeding this topic, that is going to be the Ten of Swords, and it's getting even better. I know that the Ten of Swords kind of feel, it looks really grim, but not in that case by a large margin, right? Followed by the next one here, that is going to be uh, the obstacles and the challenges that uh, we, are going, we are going to overcome. And um, this reading, uh, it turns to be more and more internal, or rather like it, it refers to our internal struggle than anything else that it is going on around. But let's draw the, the rest of the cards and I will be able to judge uh, better when I have all of the cards in front of me. So the gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy, that is going to be the six of wands, followed by the impression that we are living into the people around, that is going to be the hangman, followed by the next one, which stands as the um, obstacles that are holding us back and we do have the Empress. Moving next, it is the uh, things that are pushing ourselves forward, and we do have the Death card. I have expecting to have here either Death or either the Tower, judging by the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands at the, at the prime of the reading here. So, Death card, which is our card, Scorpio. If you don't know, Death is ruling Scorpio in, from the prism of Tarot. And we do have it here into what gives us strength in pushing us forward. And the last one, that will be the guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the Nine of Pentacles here. I'm not psychic. I know the card because I have a reflection in my camera and I can see the card I draw from that reflection. Right. Wow. Okay, so... What we have in this week here that starts with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords, it's, it's really remarkable for a Scorpio, that is. So, by the topic itself, in this week, we are to finalize a very, very important cycle of growth. Uh, it's like, not just pieces of the puzzle, but it is like after a long slog and a long struggle, maybe years of struggle even for some of you, for some of us, we finally reach that point. Uh, when we turn our look back, we do realize that, you know, it's, it's pretty much worth it. it. It was all worth it. That could be related to your career. Uh, that's, you know, you have been in so many jobs that you can't even bother to count anymore and none of them work. And now you, throughout this week, you know, you find that job that you realize, thank God I, I never succeeded in the previous jobs because this one is actually my thing. You know, same thing could relate to your relationship as well. Uh, a beautiful love that unfolds, for example, that girl, um, not shades, but what was glimmers, not, not glimmers, but, uh, wow, I forgot the word. Eclipses. It eclipses all of the rest before, or a beautiful friendship as well, you know. So it's, it's an important cycle that ends here, ends successfully, that is, and then the next stage 
follows. This isn't just, you know, one thing ends and another thing comes uh, and then you move to the next thing. That is when the cycle ends and then it follows as a uh, improvement, as a growth. That could be as well related to uh, something you want to do and you planned it numerous times. It never worked out. But now you finally have the plan that is going to set it, set the thing into motion. It could relate to literally anything in our lives. And that's why I said it's about internal struggle. This is where the Ten of Swords really comes in here for us, Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Oh my God, that, that energy is so devastating. And it's in the same time, it's so revitalizing. So with this energy, we are... Oh my God, how can I describe it even? That is the energy that sets a new dawn in our lives, not through um, tenacity, not through war, not through, um, how can I say, pushing things so hard, but it, it sets a new dawn by making us becoming one with, or rather like, slaying the beast within i don't know how to describe it this is where you just you know give up to everything you struggled against or kind of like you fought against we fought against everything good that we fought against beforehand that is where we finally say darn i want to be happy you know and i will be no matter what it takes and that energy itself um, is going to pretty much destroy the boundaries we set before ourselves up until now, which those boundaries, which when the boundaries are broken uh, or brought down, that is what makes us finalize that important cycle of, uh, of growth. This isn't Ten of Swords here, it is not where we die, it is the, the unnecessary that dies and then we live we feel more alive than ever before then the obstacles uh, not the obstacles but the challenges that we are to um, overcome here into the uh, into the week it's with the seven of uh, seven of wounds highly related to the energies of the ten of swords so that is uh, pretty much the challenge of us being open. Um, last but not least, being, how can I say, being, you know, it's always so difficult to describe it. Uh, it's simultaneously, it's, it's, it's simultaneously being open, but not for everything or everybody, guys, but just being open for what truly matters to us and in the same time with this card guarding it with the cost of our lives. Uh, it's not even finding the ultimate worth that lingers in there. It's, it's all that matters is what it works for us. So the challenge here, it is that we are to start resisting temptations outwardly, okay? Or inwardly as well, being focused on what we have. Um, either that be our job, our love, our, our friendships and so on and so forth, guarding it with everything we got, taking stands that stands, I'm sorry, that we never took before. And uh, also uh, learning to, not learning, but kind of like maintaining, it's not even a patience, it, it, it's more related to knowing when to act and how to do it as well. Um, so those that are uh, uh, those Scorpio that are a bit more impatient and a bit more emotional, they will kind of like overwhelm that urge to say things straight away or to do things straight away that uh, that they may regret moving later, uh, moving later into the future. But above, uh, but aside from that, we are gonna pretty much learn how to withstand, not learn, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally learning here how to withstand our positions and stick for what we have. Uh, next one, it is the um, gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy. And that will be the six of ones. Um, there is only one way how we can uh, describe really this card here. Uh, well, a few ways. 
Um, above everything else, we are going to be gifted with such an epic of experience, pleasant one, that uh, I don't know if we felt before, well, probably we did, but, uh, or some of us did at least, but we forgot about it. That comes with appreciation, it comes with rewards, in general it comes with everything that accompanies either a job well done or a beautiful friendship or a beautiful love, it's just we're going to feel fulfilled and complete for the time being. However, just as with the Four of Wands, the Six of, so the six of Wands, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's a card that points to a milestone, that, that thing or things which we are to experience that are going to be very pleasant and are going to uh, make our life feel completed, uh, they need to be sustained. Not just only sustained, they need to be developed even further. So, Scorpio, if you think that that is as far as you can stretch, I urge you to really, really think again because you, we, can go so much further than where we are at that week. And that is a very common question um, when it comes to private, when, when it comes to private reading, am I ever gonna feel, uh, find love again? That, that's the most common question out there. Uh, Scorpio, yeah, I mean, you will. Right? It's, it's clear that you don't have to um, have a private reading to know that the energies at least for, throughout the week, if that's what you have planned for, seeked for, worked for, toiled for, slogged for, that's what you get or what you suffered for. Because some of you, some of us, we do suffer to find it and it's, it's finally here and it slays the beast within, breaks down the boundaries, teaches us that that's what we need to stick into uh, and guard it and, and nurture it. And it's just, it's a beautiful reading, guys. I'm so looking forward to it. But in any case here, uh, we get to enjoy as a gifts and blessings an amazing week that comes in front of us and we are to feel, like said, peak of experiences and ecstasies in, in some of the uh, enterprises, events and uh, experiences in generally that are awaiting us in the week itself. So moving next, we do have uh, the uh, impression that we're going to leave into the people around and that will be the impression of the hangman. Uh, a very relatable to the Seven of Wands, it is what we do have here. So uh, first of all, with the hangman, it's highly unlikely that an influence of others is going to influence our things in any way possible. Uh, because uh, it's pretty much, it's not like we're going to look in, in, invincible in front of them, but it's just the, um, the imagination or the impression of the people around us is going to based on our stance and how how we look as well and you, you know in generally our behavior is going to make them feel helpless to influence in one or another way our things and, and people are just going to let us be that's that's what they, their impression is going to be because they're going to see that you know we are we already set things in motion things that we really wanted uh, judging here by the uh, four of wands uh, we really slogged for and, and suffered for and so on and so forth and uh, now we are waiting the right time to come uh, but those that are expe expecting for example an answer from you or to give them a green light for something may that be a project may that be some kind of a decision that you will have to make uh, they will see in you a true dedication to give the most um, how can I say not balanced but fair one and that's why it's highly unlikely that they're gonna pressure you for answer or for that green light and so on and so forth for throughout the week itself um, but I, I almost forgot but people are gonna see us change because the hangman above everything else it's about a man dangling on the tree hanged upside down seeing the world in a way they never saw before and people are going to see us change for that, for that we see the world in a much different light or a perspective that will be our true perspective. Moving next, we do have the uh, obstacles that are going to hold us back and that is the Empress. There is only one way, how the two ways how the Empress can be interpreted in this particular case. 
the way to sacrificial, meaning sacrificing your happiness and your comfort for the happiness of someone else. And something that we cannot judge by the hangman and, and judge by the seven of wands, something that we are not going to have much of a control over, that is the uh, detachment of the midst of activities. Things that we want to be most involved at most likely are going to be in heart, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, actually, the Empress here, as it holds us back, it gives us time to prepare, not just only to prepare, but as well to uh, rethink the situation many, many times in our hand, in, in our heads. So when the time comes that the situation can develop, this plan that I talked about, this continuation of the Four of Wands, we face the matter mature. And not just only mature, but also we, um, it, it's, it is related with well-made and, and well-found, balanced decision that it is about how the thing is to proceed forward. So as a simultaneously, it's something that holds us back as well. Actually, it's a favor, it's a blessing in disguise here that gives us the time needed to get use of it, uh, to get used to it, I'm sorry, get the hang of it and think about very carefully how and above everything else, why we, uh, we want to keep up with it because Judging by the previous cards, we definitely are going to want to keep up with it. Moving next, we do have the um, things that are pushing us forward, the benefits, the blessings, and uh, that is the death card. So as just the change of life. That week, it will be a week of, uh, of change for us. Uh, things that are dying, that are serving us no favor whatsoever, they are gonna be gone no longer in our life. Uh, hopefully you're not holding on into them way too tightly, like uh, relationships that are over, just you don't wanna let go of them. Jobs that are over, that just you don't wanna let go of them. Things that are in flux. Um, according to the card, the fourth, the fourth horseman is gonna come about to take them away. So a new life, a new job, a new friendship, a new law can take its place, uh, its, its rightful place, or righteous place, rightful place, where it belongs, next to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that is not going to ruin our life, but it's just going to make it broader, more sprout, and more beautiful, I hope. I really hope so. I don't hope so. With the death card, I know that is going to be that way. And uh, the last one we got, it is the guidance the tarot is offering to us. That is the nine of pentacles. And I probably need to take a picture of this card so it kind of reminds me uh, when, I, when I look at it. So what the card here points, it is that what we are about to have or what we have, because that could be, like I said, a continuation from previous weeks as well, you know, something that it is developing and now is going to reach its a um, finalization of a cycle, jumping into the next cycle. Uh, that's what we need to leap into development. I, and we should not be afraid of it. We should not pour ourselves from it um, at all, for example. And, uh, well, that's the thing. If that is a job, that's the uh, lucrative job we see. That is the job that gives us, that is going to give us growth, that is going to give us um, field to expand, that is going to give us money, is going to give us progress. If it is about love, that's your man or that's your woman that you are, for example, dating with, in love with, so on throughout the week. And based on the previous cards, we got to stick to it for with the nine of pentacles, it is a leap of development. If you think that the leap have already been uh, begun, you have, we have no idea. Okay. So I really, really look forward to it. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. 
Uh, hopefully you do enjoy the reading just as much as I did. It was, it was an amazing one and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.